This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I'm going to be talking about a subject we keep getting asked a lot at our store, Paint Life Supply Co., and that's peeling off your tape and it pulling the tape off the wall or the substrate that you are masking on or adjoining to. So if you want to know how to stop that frustrating, annoying thing of peeling the paint off the wall, stay tuned for this video. All right, so I'm gonna get on with the topic of the paint uh, peeling up the wall when you're pulling your tape. So, you know, what actually causes this? So typically, you know, what the scenario looks like is you're running your tape on the wall, you're running it around your trim or your door jam, something, and you're painting over that so you can get perfectly straight lines without having to spend years and years learning how to cut in. And it's just a fast and easy way to get laser straight lines. Commonly used method, uh, using frog tape, even um, caulking over your frog tape. But what is actually happening is and especially if you use anything other than a flat paint so you're gonna use like a satin paint a semi-gloss paint um, gloss paint or even eggshell paints you know there's enough acrylic in those paints to make them flexible and stretchy and if you allow the paint to dry on the tape and it's gonna be drying on the tape and then it's gonna be drying onto the wall when you go to start pulling off your your tape off of your surface that it's masked onto the the, um, the paint is stuck to the tape and it's actually stuck to the wall and it's what we call bridging and it's going to be stretching and pulling off the wall because paint typically takes about 30 days to dry and cure and really bond and bite to the surface. Now you're not going to sit there and let your tape sit you know, on the surface for 30 days and allow it to cure on the wall. So it's more likely to peel off, more or less likely to peel off the wall. You're typically um, pulling it when it's dry, you know, within a several hours or maybe the next day. Um, but the problem is, is the paint is drying. It's not bonding to the surface. It has enough acrylic in, in it that it's stretching and pulling and then it pulls away in the surface and it kind of um, snaps into what we call like little shark's teeth or jagged edges and that is very frustrating. So how do you stop that from happening? You stop that from happening by not allowing your paint to dry. And, um, and that goes for your caulking too because the same thing will happen with your caulking. Your caulking is flexible, it's stretchy, it's gonna dry onto the tape, it's gonna dry onto your wall or your surface that you're um, masking onto um, and away from, and it's just gonna stretch and pull and pull off in jagged edges. So there's two things that cause this, is your caulking drying on your tape and the surface and your paint drying on the, ser- the um, tape and the surface. So you can't let either one of them dry. So you've got to caulk it, you've got to paint it, and then you've got to pull it before both of them dry. Are you enjoying the video so far? Are you finding it helpful? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time we come out with more of this free content. And now let's get back to the video. Now, I, I hear a lot of people, you'll, you'll see me caulk or you'll see me paint over my caulking right away and you're gonna hear people saying, you can't do that, you can't do that. Well, um, I got a product right here. This is um, a product from Tower. It's called Accelerator. So it's specifically do- designed so you can paint over it immediately. And one of the great things is, is you can paint over it with flat paints and the paint is not gonna crack. There's one of the things about painting over um, wet caulking is if you paint over it, uh, with flat paints, the uh, the paint will actually crack. If you paint with paint over it with like a um, a satin or a semi gloss, there's enough acrylic in the paint that it won't actually crack over the caulking. But Accelerator was specifically made to eliminate those types of issues. So um, a great caulking, good product to use if you're using flat paints. What happens with flat paints if you um, paint over your tape, allow it to dry on your tape and allow it to dry on the wall and you pull your tape and it, it would typically give you a crisp clean line. Well, why is that? Well, flat paints don't have nearly the amount of acrylic in it that a satin does or a semi-gloss in it does because that's what gives the bill, the paint the the flexible enough, the, the flex flexibility, the stretchability, it gives it the durability, the washability, and that's why typically flat paints aren't washable, uh, they're not very durable, you scrub them and they're not very scrubbable, the paint comes right off the wall, 
and by nature they're just not as much resin or acrylic in that paint and so it will actually when you pull the tape it will like snap and it'll still pull in a straight line so um using flat tapes a lot more for our flat paints a lot more forgiving so getting back to how you stop it you have to you know caulk you have to paint over your caulking and you got to pull it while it's wet. And then I'm, I'm sure somebody's gonna ask me, well, well, what about if you got a two coat? Now, if you got a two coat on your first coat on your walls, we're going to be rolling our first coat. We're gonna stay about a 16th of an inch away from our tape. So we're not gonna get paint uh, bridging from our wall or our surface to our tape and drying across that bridge right there. So first coat, you're gonna stay away from your tape. Second coat, you're going to caulk. If you're gonna caulk, if you're not gonna caulk, you're just gonna um, do your cut in, and then you're gonna roll your second coat, and you're gonna pull your tape right away while it's wet. This is the cure to not um, having your, uh, your paint pull off the wall or peel off the wall or whatever surface you're actually painting onto. You've got to pull your tape, before the caulking dries, you got to pull your tape before um, the paint dries. And um, it's a simple little thing. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to work from just wall to wall because if you try to do a whole room at once and then come back and pull it, it's, it's going to be dry and it's going to peel off. So if you're doing like new construction and you're spraying, you know, um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to pull while it's wet and you can allow it to dry, but you know, um, you're gonna have a lot more success if you're using flat paint. So there's a little bit of, a little bit of discussion about why it's happening, how to resolve it. Um, if you've got any tips or tricks of how to stop your paint from peeling off the wall, you know, just let us know down in the comments section below. You know, we learn from you just like you learn from us. If you've got anything from this video, just hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. It's it's free, easy to do, simple. Um, and don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.